I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little personal here. Um, I feel like I'm in general pretty fortunate in that I don't have a, a tremendous amount of debt. Um, but like most Americans, I have I have some debt, and I feel like I'm always torn between paying off the debts from the past versus investing in my retirement and my future. Where where should I be on that tug of war? Like, is there a formula for that or? Well, I'm going to applaud you for thinking about it. So I think that that's super Thank important you. is to just say, hey, I have these two goals. How do I accomplish both of these things at the same time? And to not just ignore one in favor of doing the other. So I'm not going to I'm going to just pretend I don't have debt so I can save for the future or I'm going to pay down all of my debt and I can't save for the future. You really can do both. So whatever your discretionary dollar amount is at the end of the month that you can put towards those goals, you're going to split it up in a way that makes sense for you. So um, again, just super personal decision. So it doesn't have to be like 50-50 right down the middle. No, half absolutely the past, not. The you know, it really depends on the types of debts that you have and the financial situation that you're in. So for example, if you have a lot of credit card debt, that's the type of debt that you have yeah. and you are paying a really high interest rate on it. Ooh. I know, yeah. it's the worst. Yeah. You may want to put more of that extra money that you have at the end of the month towards that debt because it's, you're paying a lot to have it. Yeah, you're, it's costing you money to keep it's, that debt around. Exactly, it's costing you money, it's costing you a lot of money. You know, right. those interest rates are really high as opposed to a mortgage, which isn't costing you very much. And, you know, putting an extra $50 a month towards your mortgage is probably not gonna get your cash flow to improve. You're probably not going to have that mortgage paid off any sooner, but putting that extra $50 towards your credit cards hopefully will get rid of that credit card debt, free up the cash flow of what was going towards that loan previously and allow you to use it for other purposes. So um, it's definitely a combination of what your goals are, how much money you have left over, and what kind of debt you have yeah. um, so you can certainly split that up but I think the most important thing is that you're thinking about it that you're not just saying oh I'm just gonna pay everything without a plan having a plan to get to a goal is helpful <laughs>